island. Imagine that here you have one school of art in Georgetown, one school of art in Kaliakua, one school of art in Vila, one school of mm. art in Arnosville. In Mar 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, we have a lot of options and of course we offer this free education, artistic education to the most talented students in Cuba. We can have something similar, maybe in the future. This is only the beginning of something that is biggest that we can imagine. At the end, it's a beautiful, a beautiful opportunity for the young people in the island. It's a great opportunity for everybody, for the government, and everybody can see how blessed we are to have so much talent, because all of them are extremely talented. We only need to, give, to guide them, provide the resource. You can put an instrument in the hand of every single talented student. You teach them, you train them hard, and they will be so powerful. San Vincent can be a, another important country to affect the world with his music. And that is what we need. This is the, the future of the island. I believe in the music. <laughs> well, well, that's amazing, uh, Mrs. Ledlow, to hear your, I, to hear your excitement and to see it on your face. Uh, can the the, the the population of students that you have, your band, can you tell us, is it more female, more male? Uh, do you have writers? Do you, you have singers? You have, <laughs> tell us, tell us about the mix that you have. Well, yes, we have, I can say, 50 and 50, because we have girls and boys involved in that. And the most important is the girls here can sing, but they can play the drums too. Mm. Yes, and play steel pan, and play the pianos. It's not only in the role of the singer and the vocalist. No, 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 we have girls that they are able to play any instruments, in this case, according to the instrument that we have in our classroom. But the most important is observe how they feel this desire to do music. How much music can change this, their life. Because music at the end is that, it's expression. It's an expression of freedom. And the students, these teenagers, when you separate the teenager from the aggressive world that is around them, these environments about drugs and something, you separate this student from all these backgrounds and you insert inside the music to do music to work as a team. We are doing not only an artistic work, we are doing a social work mm -hmm. with all of them. Mm -hmm. We are preparing not only persons that will be able to use their talent, their skills to connect other persons because music is connections. Right now they are doing music in the classroom but they will go in front to one audience from more than 5,000 persons and everybody will feel something because music transmits always a message. People can feel always, maybe people coming sad, angry, but when you give a good vibe of music, people change their, their style of, yes. and this is what we need to do. Music yeah. is about that, create mm -hmm. good vibes, create a good um, feelings in the population. Yeah. And these young, young people is ready to do that. Well, you know what, you know what brother, brother Nesta Mari said, one good thing about music, when it hits you. Feeling the pain. pain. <laughs> Give us some details about tomorrow. It's gonna to go down tomorrow. Um, well, it's a it's a three phase event. I mean, um, something that the committee when I when I, um my mom just a coordinator. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> so it's it's not, it's not me alone on this journey because it's it, as you know it's it's never an easy one. So it's a three phase um situation where at eleven we have a fair for the kids and we have a craft fair. And then at one, we have a pre-show that is going to feature unique Vincentian culture. So quadrille, the maypole, some steel orchestras, some calypso, some rakasoka, from kit. And then from 3 p.m., we move into the showcase with all of the live bands, 14 bands. Um, and the idea was- 14 to, bands from 14, 14 different bands. schools. Yeah, from 14 different schools. But they were all secondary schools. All secondary schools. Mm. Um, the idea was to move from, because over the years we've been doing the night element yeah. of, the, of it. So the idea was to move from a daytime into night to give the, the youngsters that experience. Mm -hmm. And you know, I remember about three years ago, somebody said, oh, why are you guys so elaborate? Why this big setup? Now I cannot be talking to some, some teenagers of 14, 15 age, encouraging them to see music as a career path and not give them a taste of what it is like. So um, we're going to move from the daytime into the night, and obviously in the night we transform the whole set design 
into that, that international field. Why? Is that we're partnering with the, 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 the cruise the cruise ship um, terminal, Port Authority, because they're going to be one of the largest ships at, at, at the dock tomorrow. So I mean, from the Minister of Culture, when he, he, he found that out, he said, why don't we twin it with the cruise ship? So what we did, we were inviting the passengers from the ship to come and be a part of the event. Now the ship leaves at six. So obviously the psychologists to try to work everything so that the students can have that international audience while we have the local people, our local um, population supporting them. So you know, they, they, there's the opportunity where they get to interact with the musicians from the ship. Mm -hmm. Right? So, and they get to interact with the, obviously with the passengers from the ship. And then they get to see the, the kind of um, reception they get from an international audience, people who they've never seen before. So um, that's the element of, of the entire day. Uh, and um, I mean, the teachers are excited, the students are excited. Well, yes, we can see the teachers yesterday, are excited. <laughs> yesterday we were setting up and teachers came in one by one just to see what it looks like. Yeah. You know I mean, and just for them to see the effort that is being put in to, for, for the kids. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, some of them say they, they're rehearsing all day today. <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, it's really motivating to know that you know I mean, the, the, the kids and the teachers are excited to see what is going to happen and, and in terms of the event and the public because it has always been um, getting great support because okay. at one time we, we saw 1,800 persons you know I mean? and then you know, 1,500 and obviously even in COVID we were able to attract 1,200 persons and this year outside of the, um, the passengers from the ship we know that there's going to be a great turnout because we did some full marketing mm -hmm. you know and I mean again we cannot talk about the industry and use it as a career path and we, we don't push all of the envelopes that involves the industry so um, you know I mean we're gonna have a lot of attractions the bouncing castles for the kids the popcorn the cotton candy mm -hmm. we are gonna have a lot of information booth so um, Teachers Credit Union is going to set up an information booth because we also, in the workshops, we also talk to, children, talk to the children about saving because, of course, the entertainment industry, you see a lot of money. So saving is also important. Um, SVG AMP is going to be there to, to do some registration of membership because if you, you can get the students registered with an association from that very tender age, you know what I mean? Um, that would be good. We're going to have some copyright information there. Because we have, as Miss Little said, they have a lot of writers in the school. Because mm -hmm. one of the things that they have to do, which is mandatory and is the only competition for tomorrow, is that you have to write a jingle for the Teachers Credit Union, mm -hmm. right? Um, okay. I mean, I'm mentioning. So, the, so, so the, what what comes out of that competition? So the, there would be a winner, and whoever win, whichever school win, they're going to obviously get prizes. Right, mm. okay. they're gonna be um, open an account with some money in there for every student, and then we get to hear for the every student. Then you jingle, yeah, for every student, every so member of the band. Yeah, so if Mrs. Lidlow Thomason is win, <laughs> that is twenty junior accounts so with 20, money in twenty one. Right, <laughs> you still get one. <laughs> no, <but> yeah, <laughs> right, and 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 then that jingle would, would would play all the way through for the the rest of the year. Mind mm -hmm. you, the teachers' credit union is celebrating forty five years. Mm -hmm. Right, and, and I have to big them up. That's a big deal. That's yeah. A big deal. yeah, and yeah. then outside of that, there are a lot of other incentives. Um, we have some incentive with some vouchers for kids to go and get some school bags and some sneakers for school. And I mean, um, the person would want to be anonymous, right, but it's one of the popular stores with all the brand name shoes. Um, the Teachers Credit Union is giving every performer who hits the stage the opportunity to go to the bookshop. Because Teachers Credit Union have a bookshop and mm -hmm. get discount on all your supplies. Yeah. So once you're a member of any of the band, your names would be at the bookshop. You can go at any time and purchase your books and, and get a discount. That's now the teachers I need, great. I need to be in a band. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Band. You need to come back. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> we've, we've revived that um, 2005 goodbye, thing, goodbye, you know? Goodbye, goodbye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, and then there's, there's a situation where... Um, um, I lose my chain of thoughts. You need to come back. Yeah, you need to come back. Yeah, you need to come back. You need to come back. So we got um, the jingle, the bookshop, the, yeah, the, the bookshop, discounts at the Teachers Credit Union bookshop. Right. Yes. So I was gonna. I mean, we have to. I have to. I have to um, big up Teachers Credit Union because you know they weren't the first ones that we approached to to take up this initiative. Um, I'm going to be very transparent. They started with ten thousand dollars, right? With um, as I say, with eighteen schools production. You know what I mean? Basically, that 10,000 is nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Then they move quickly to 15,000. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, giving a creative 15,000 dollars, you know, that's that too. <laughs> and I mean, and, and, and this particular year, they, the board of directors and the, the management of the teachers' credit union decide that we're going to do a 100% increase 
So we know at thirty thousand dollars in cash. Yeah. Awesome. Thirty thousand dollars and that's not uh, in kind. That's cash. You know? yes, in St. Vincent, yeah. these big sponsors they love to tell you, oh, we that's we're sponsoring thirty thousand dollars. When you check it out, it's like ten and the rest is yeah. services yeah. and so yeah. on. Yeah. Thing, right? yeah. and so cash is yeah. thirty thousand. I mean and, and all of these support. So they're not a sponsor where I give you a check and then you know mm -hmm. and the guy come and see a, a, yeah. a nice some nice remarks. Right. They have been to all of the school visits, they've been to the workshop, they've been to the setup. I mean, they're actually on the different radio stations. So they're now. really invested. Yeah, they're they're totally. Really and, um, you know, I mean, um, the Department of Culture also, there's some great investments there from the department. I mean, it could be a little bit more. So, I'm um, mm -hmm. government. I'm, I'm appealing <laughs> to, you know, <laughs> let me say we could match the 30,000, but we're grateful. Yeah. I mean, yes. and I, I mean, every school. The transportation will be provided for them specifically. For the bands. So the, 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 the so bus for the bands. Yeah, for the bands. For, the, for well. the bands, and if you have your little supporters, mm -hmm. they can join the bus. So the, you know, what I mean, the bus is gonna come. They're gonna stay there and wait on the kids. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a hospitality area where mm -hmm. food and everything. You know, what I mean, big up Claire from Eat Right, who is yeah. our caterer. Um, Ika Mula Foods is also one of the caterers. Trusty Water. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, rest in peace to Dwight Hillox. He was one yeah. of the very first sponsor. Um, Island Sips is yeah, also. Duet has always been involved with the school. Yeah, yeah. from you day know, one, you know, I mean, Island Sips. So, the hospitality area, so they're going to feel like stars. You mm -hmm. know, we have people. So, they're going to have free food, like, yeah, you, know, yeah, you go to yeah, a show, yeah. Yeah. there's food backstage. Mm -hmm. There's a dressing there's area catering, backstage, there's right. mirrors, there's nice. chairs, there's yeah. tables. And they have their own. Are they going to dress up, uh, Miss Lilo? Are you your back? I don't know. I think that's, 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 like, that's like a secret. <laughs> yeah, 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 they yeah, want to yeah, give yeah. out yeah. all the. You're going to have some Elvises and some Michael Jackson things, <laughs> etc., yeah. coming out. But um, <laughs> you'll be surprised tomorrow, right? Yeah. <laughs> Rani, in in terms of uh, the 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 genres that you're hoping right. to um, to come out, what what can we look forward to? Right. So the the, the, the concept is essence. So what we we decided is to. Um, allow these students to appreciate the different style and genres of music. So we, what we did, we put, we placed all of them in a bag and the, the teachers came and, and they pulled. So whatever you pull is what you, you want to do, mm -hmm. right? And outside of just doing, you know what I mean, that genre, you have to stay very authentic. So if you're doing jazz, there is something that is very authentic about jazz that you have to do. Mm -hmm. And then you, you are allowed to interpret after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? So if you're doing Raga Soka, you have to give me authentic Raga Soka and then you can branch off to what it is whatever your interpretation of it. Mm. So we're gonna see um, gospel, we're gonna see reggae, we're gonna see R&B and soul, we're gonna see parang, we're gonna see um, soca, calypso, and raga. Um, we're gonna see Motown. That mm. is something that I want persons to look forward to. Motown. 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 You know MJ. I mean? Yeah. I'm some, and, and the thing is, one of the interesting thing about it is that the teacher told us that the students were the ones who select the Motown songs. Mm. And when you listen to some of the songs that were selected, mm. you wonder where. Them young people really listening. What is it yeah. about this song? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rock and rock. Yeah, and, and you, you have to come with that yourself. Mrs. Mrs. Lillo said it, and when we got to, to Thomas on it, it was a bit emotional because mm -hmm. when she used the term environmental instruments, I mean, we start looking at each other like environment. What, but what when we look around, uh -huh. we realize what she meant. You know what I mean, anything that could make a song is an instrument, yeah. and that in itself is, you know, I mean, a kids, tremendous. Kids would, would gravitate naturally yeah. towards. Yeah, that. I remember long ago you used to draw on the desk, yes, yeah, the yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You you use your door, pencil and your pen. The window. Yeah. Yeah. So you no. know, what I mean, there, there's Motown. I, I was saying, I mean, actually, there's a school that is doing a tribute to Fireman Hooper. Oh, yeah. and I mean, and when I heard about the material, so it's not just doing Fireman Hooper in their element of Bram Bram, yeah. but when you listen to the transition and, yeah. and the way they were able to to group his songs, and you realize, boy, yeah, I know, this, I know what school that is. I know what school that is. No, I don't think you know. You're know probably guessing is. because of the area that they're from. Eh? You're probably going to assume because of the area I they're know from. That Fireman is from. He's I probably. I know what school that is. Okay, we could probably put a bet. Is, it. Yeah? Do you want a bet? This the school is located next to Ariba. No, but as I'm saying, that's what I'm saying, you're probably... <laughs> Listen, no, 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 I tell you the school is located next door. All right, let's, let's let's take a bet. Are right. we going to take a bet? And a gas station. Okay, anyhow. <laughs> but, but then, <laughs> then I my, know, of I course, my know. alma mater is All doing right. um, reggae, mm -hmm. and, um, which is Bishop's College. And again, the, the, the time frame, the time period in which these young people did the reggae. Uh, authentic reggae. Yeah, you, you think it's reggae. going to be... Yeah. The little Christopher Martin, mm -hmm. what is happening yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, but they, yeah. they went back to some one to one step mm -hmm. reggae and wow. they came all some the way through to where, yeah, and pools, pools, yeah, yeah. And, that, and, and yeah. that's no joke. 
Um, one of the other elements of it to... Um, so, in, in other words, you're saying that this is something that um, mature individuals can come out and enjoy. And enjoy. Because they're yeah. going to get to relive their years of their youth um, vicariously through these youngsters who will go there and bridge the gap between mm -hmm. youth and the music of the yesteryears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to bring that back and remind you, although you're 70 years old, you remember when you were 30. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, when you yeah. were going out to the clubs and enjoying yourself, etc. Yeah, and I mean, picture a, a school band, a young star, a, a, a young lady singing Pussy Sledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, R&B and soul. And I had to ask the teacher, I, 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 are you sure that you weren't the one who selected these songs for mm -hmm. the kids? Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, you know what I mean? They went home, they did their research. Now, research is a part of, 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 of school, you know, yeah. academics, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean, what you have to do. So when people make the, they make the statement about academics and the arts, mm -hmm. I, I can't have an issue with it because yeah. right. the arts is academics. Mm -hmm. yes. Because, you know what I mean, you have a lot of um, research, a lot of things to do. But, um, but this, has a, this has a social component to it. Yeah, yeah of course. Because... If a 14-year-old goes home to research and comes back with Percy Celeste, that tells me they've been talking to their parents yeah. or their grandparents mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. or their uncles. Because mm -hmm. you remember what I said or not? Outside of just playing a Percy Celeste song or playing an iron being soul, mm -hmm. the kids now have to interpret mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what they're hearing. So if it's mm -hmm. it... Back then, it was more about the, the chord progression or about the, the tone that they use on the keyboard. Mm -hmm. They now have the opportunity now to put that into their own world in terms of where they are now and how they view music. Mm -hmm. So that is something that I, I am looking forward to. I mean, yeah. I, yesterday, a lot of the teachers invited me to do yours and I, I decided, no, I'm not coming. I will wait until <laughs> You want to be surprised tomorrow? Yeah, be yeah because the Motong yeah. and Mrs. Lidlow and... They selected gospel. Yeah. Lidlow and gospel, right? Trust me, that... Okay. I, I wouldn't yeah, say yeah. much, but even when we went to, to, to the Sandy Bay government, mm -hmm. I mean, who has mm -hmm. always been a, a, a solid force in the school band, and to see what they're doing, you know what I mean? One of the tricks that Mitch did, Mitch is the teacher, is that he's actually presenting their Junior Calypso for this year because they selected Raga, Soka, and Calypso. You have to do three of them. So you can't select one, you have to do three of them. The reason for that is, if you study the history, Calypso. I, all of these are children of the mother, which is Calypso. Yeah. And I wanted to see Including how, reggae, by yeah, the way. And I wanted to see how they're going to transition from I mean, whether the, the Calypso or the Raga. Mm. But there, there's a particular school who's actually doing that same those same tree style. But they started from folk. Mm -hmm. And they were asking me, um, I know this is not Raga, Calypso Soka, but then the debate went from you know, our folk song what influence a lot of our Calypso and our Raga. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? <laughs> Point taken, you're right. right. Uh, you know what I mean? Because Rose is screw. They did a lot of the folk element. Mm -hmm. I mean, so why not? I mean, no, we, did, we didn't even talk about it. So uh, trust me, it's, it's going to be heavy. Um, I don't know how much time we have, but I, I want to mention this to Cheryl is that we're going to be uh, doing a lot of scouting tomorrow. Right. Because in the memorandum of understanding. What is scouting for? For a national school band. <laughs> right. It is written in the MOU. So it is not something that we're just going to talk about, but it's something that we have to do directly after the showcase. So directly after the showcase, we give ourselves about a week. So the scouters would be looking at the students, the most outstanding students from that element. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go into some auditions and some interviews. And then we form the national school band. There's funding there for it already. There's a management committee there already. And I mean, we are, we are challenging the teachers credit union to give us one of their buildings. And um, you know what I mean, it was up for consideration. Not an entire building, but probably a flow of a building. Right. I mean, whether or not we, it's outfitted already, it is a space where, you know, we can utilize. So, um, so yeah, th that, is, that is something that- That's big news. Yeah, that is something yeah. that I mean, we, we have some big stars that came out of the, the youth national band. youth band of the late 80s, 90s era. So I watch it like she don't know about it. She don't know. No, 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 no. He, <laughs> like, he likes to do that a lot, you know? Like he likes to do that a lot. Like, yeah, but she seems like she knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, it's, it's okay. Eh? Yeah, you no. know, like 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 the 2005 um, challenge. No, 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 not that one, yeah. not that one. But I don't know about that part of history. You see, you see, you see. Champion was involved in the band. Dex Tabacus was actually the music officer right now. These guys were great back in the day. They were banging, you know. And so to hear that we're getting, we're going to go back there. 
we'll be looking out at some potential big stars to come out of this band again big musicians it's not just vocalists right. you know? yeah musician the brass right. section yeah i know um, at the at the i can say this publicly at the cdc board meeting recently um we tabled the idea of allowing that band to to play at junior Caleb's and junior so come on mm -hmm. um whether it's going to be the backing band is still in conversation but the that would be the very first official outing for that band yeah. right um cdc accepted it I mean, in whatever way. I mean, as I said, the backing part of it would need a little bit more logistics in terms of um because it's a competition. That's gonna be a lot. <laughs> yeah, but but the first official um outing from from for, for that particular national band mm -hmm. would be at the Junior Calypso Soka. Probably we might see a guest appearance from the champ from two thousand five. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Whoever that yeah, is, yeah. Know, whoever that person is. Yeah. But him or her would grace <laughs> us with their it's like, um it's a tall order. <laughs> but sure, we're, 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 we're now. Um, what's what's the what's the uh, admission fee for tomorrow? Zero ninety nine. Admission. What's the? I should ask. What's the admission free for tomorrow? All right. So you, know, you have it right there. It's all free. It's all free. And I mean, um, again, we. You really think that should be free, boy? Right? Um, because of what? because of the nature of it. Uh, I've seen I've seen one band reverse under the bands. Mm. Uh, I don't think it should be free. Well, what we are doing, because of the nature of it in terms of from the ministry and, and we are not mm -hmm. allowed to basically um, collect cash and what's not, mm -hmm. um, we, we basically... We're going to have to fix that. We're yeah, yeah eventually, 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 yeah. eventually, eventually we would. And um, there, it was a feeling that, you know, I mean, just, uh, just free it up. We're just coming out of COVID. Yeah. And I mean, just allow persons to free it up. But we are also going to ask persons yeah. to, to give a donation. Yeah. So there are going that, to be persons be, who are going to yes. be moving around with a box. I mean... A lot of tourists going yeah, to yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so each school maybe couldn't have their own box when they when they um when they're well, performing. Even if that, can come no, yeah, even that yeah. because quite naturally it's not a competition. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, what yeah. I realize is people from who but went is past students are now. Right. It's not a <laughs> naturally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. going against each other. You know what I mean? But um, we, we, the, the feeling was this because the atmosphere up there, Cheval, it's going to be tremendous, and I mean. If, yeah, I'm gonna be there. If you it's, know me and, and, and right some now. of the other committee you members, yeah. we're gonna put on umbrellas. We're gonna put on cocktail tables. We're gonna put on low lying seats. Mm -hmm. We're gonna even put, try to create a little mini beach area. Because if you know where the area is, yeah, the yeah. beach is right there with the yeah. boats in the background. So we're going to create that that atmosphere. Don't worry, yourself, there's going to be water there. Mm -hmm. I mean, the sun might be a little hot. <laughs> you know I mean, but one of the things that we we want to encourage, and this is me personally, is that a lot of our events are in the night. So yes. that we're trying to see how much we can encourage the daytime. So even though you're done, you can bring the family, yes. take home the family in, 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 a, in a, an appropriate time. And then you as an adult could do whatever you want after that. But so the, um, the atmosphere is going to be nice. The set design I mean, for the stage and for the lawn is going to be very welcoming. As I said, we're going to have some umbrellas. So don't worry yourself, and I don't mean umbrellas in terms of hand umbrellas. I mean those big umbrellas, big umbrellas. Right. beach umbrellas that you can sit under. They're going to be cocktail tables, so it's first come, first serve. I mean, we can put a hundred cocktail tables, mm -hmm. so, you know, you can come and hold your table. Yeah, I mean, can I? Well, we have one on the order, right? <laughs> right? I mean, the craft is going to be there, not only for the passengers from the ship, but even for our local people. Mm -hmm. I mean, go and support that. I mean, mm -hmm. give your donation, as I was saying on the radio, even if you have an instrument at home and you're not using it, you can bring it tomorrow, we're going to collect it tomorrow. You know I mean, so if you have your instruments that you're not using or any instrument that you just want to hand over, you know I mean, we can, we will do that tomorrow also. I mean, again, I want to big up the Port Authority for, for right. because the logistics weren't, wasn't easy, you know. There's a there's a ship in, and if you know mm -hmm. the security yeah. and the logistics, right. that's yeah, normally the shut down. That's yeah, right. yeah so for them to really come on board and partner and see the importance of this is really something that is commendable from the management and staff at the, the Port Authority and the cruise ship terminal. So I want to big them up because you know dealing with kids, young people, there are a lot of logistics involved in terms of I mean, their safety and of course the safety and the security of the persons from the ship. So, um, I mean, the committee have been doing a tremendous job. Yeah. I mean. Well, I want to, <laughs> I want to, I want to give Ms. Laidlaw, Mrs. Laidlaw, the opportunity to invite the Ascensions to come down to see you and your band tomorrow. Well, yes, we invite everybody in St. Vincent and the Grenadines to come and support 
this important showcase. We will feel extremely happy to receive everybody and they can feel the good vibe that Ushali music transmits to the population. That will be lovely and I encourage everybody to come pass by us tomorrow by the cruise ship terminal and support the young generation of artists of San Vincent and the Grenadines. There you go. And uh, remember, admission is totally free, so totally you can free. get it tomorrow. Lonnie Small, thank you very much for coming in. And um, you and your committee, you've done a fantastic job mm -hmm. over the last five years. Um, and I can't wait to see tomorrow the revelation of <laughs> yeah. the, the culmination of that it's work. Exciting. It's a continuous work, but you know, to this point, mm -hmm. we've come a long way. And um, the recovery, especially after the last of uh, volcanic eruption, you know, it's been marvelous. The, the band, like Sandy Bay Band, for instance, which mm -hmm. lost all the instruments, mm -hmm. they're coming back in full swing and everything. I just can't wait to see it. I can't right. wait to see the yeah. materialization of the dreams of these youngsters. Um, and uh, we can see it on display on stage. Oh man, tomorrow is going to be a big day. The fair is at 11 and then uh, later, a little later on from, was it mid, uh, one o'clock? One, the pre-show. The pre-show, the pre-show. Mm -hmm. And then the secondary school band's showcase gets started at 3 p.m. You gotta be there for that. It's 14 bands. 201. 201 musicians, musicians wow. on stage. Banging, banging, banging. Live. Day into the <laughs> night. You're gonna see. It's going to be great stuff. It's going to be great stuff. Thank you guys for coming in. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. Thank All the best. Much. We're going to wrap up next with traffic. Raining. Oh my gosh, Dinka. The, the oh, weather report goodness. was correct. The weather yeah, report yeah, yeah. was correct. We were on point this morning. Uh, we were on point this morning. I'm a little shocked though that the, there is not more traffic in this area at this time of day. Well, it's, it's raining. Friday. It's raining. You know when it's raining, you get less when traffic in Kingstown. Really? Yes. I because, don't think so. Yeah, because people are not walking up and down. Listen. Across the crossways, etc. When, when, um, when rain is it comes, raining too heavily? People try to, you know, 
everybody wants to get to the same place at the same time. Yeah, well. <laughs> So it's a little difficult, but this morning is really, this is, this is it's, amazing. It's, give it another 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, you'll see. Yeah. You'll see where I go on this Person's one. coming into town to, to go to the market mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, take mm -hmm. care of their Friday weekly business. Yeah. And person's coming to go to the NIS. You know, all those things happen on a Friday. I was well, expecting it's, more it's, traffic. It's, but this it's is pretty good. free at the moment. Yeah, it is. Pretty so free. so if you if you are heading into Kingston, this is a good time to head into Kingston. Yeah. Can yeah. we see what it looks like down the road? Down, down towards yeah. the Peace, Peace Memorial, Memorial Hall. Hall. And we have the guys see. pan around so we can see that. Yeah. Um, this is what's coming in. Let's see what's mm -hmm. well, what's going out doesn't look um, it doesn't too much look worse. Too much oh, right. oh, all right. Oh, the worse. guys are the guys yeah. are in the they have to seek shelter in the vehicle. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that. Uh, what they get it? Oh, yeah, there yeah. we go. Uh, okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go. All uh, right. All right. So it's, it's a rainy Friday morning. It is. And so that's what traffic is looking like. Got a. They uh, got a packed weekend this weekend. It's, yes. it's on tomorrow. It's on Sunday. Yeah, every day of the weekend. It's going to be great stuff. It's All right. Great awesome. entertainment. All right, so make sure to go out tomorrow and support. Come out tomorrow, support Yank the youngsters. Yank and I are going to go down there. We're going to yeah. be there ourselves. We're going to be there mm -hmm. uh, supporting the youngsters. Hopefully, um, the 2005 um, champ would make an appearance. Hopefully, hopefully. And make an appearance on stage, you know, hopefully. You know, and he doesn't stay Whoever away. that is. Him or her yeah. doesn't stay away like the, the vehicle staying it. away from Kingston. Um, because of the rain, right. you know, but, <laughs> but we, yes, go. We'll see we, you guys we have Monday. to go have a good, have a good weekend and be safe.